Welcome back to homeremade.online. Found it first for another unboxing video and I've got a lot to go through. So first off, there's this beautiful piece of pottery um, from California. It's a huge platter and it's got a great mix of blues. Um, very large, very weighty. And then you can see the piece of vintage um, artwork. It's just a print. I have a set of those that I picked up, so I'm using that as a backdrop today. And then moving on with the theme of pottery, I found this cream and sugar set that is signed on the bottom. I can't make out the signature, um, so I doubt that I'm going to be able to figure out who it is it looks like sean sherry something i don't know so i'll probably just list it as you know handmade pottery signed by the artist uh, this one is not signed but it looks like raku um, it's got the look of raku however on the bottom it doesn't um, i just thought it was a nice looking uh, vase These are my colors, black, grays, um, could be dark browns, can't really tell. All right, another piece of pottery. This one's from Bavaria. It's just a nice clean looking uh, white vase with some great uh, lines going around it. I, I just thought it was really unique. Um, it needs some cleaning up is all, but I think that this is a really cool vase. I found this pair of oil lamps, which are really cool. And they're fully intact and there are no chips on them. Kind of an Aladdin lamp shape. Thought those were really unique. This is also a homemade piece, which I just think is so unique. <clears throat> you could use this for so many different things. Um, you know, I would, I could see this in my own home. Um, I just think Whoever made that had a really good idea in their head. All right. I found another cruet, which is very, very ornate. And it's got the stopper intact. Um, there are no markings on the bottom, but the stopper is really pretty. And then I've got this very large decanter, which you can see it's got a really pretty topper as well, stopper. And it's got some gold applique and etching. So that's pretty cool. All right. Then I found this which is my birds, um, so I couldn't resist this. It's just a wall hanging and it is signed. Um, well, uh, it's signed with a number and it says Hummingbird and it's made by Napco. So this is a Napco piece. And let's see here. Oh yeah, another bud vase piece of pottery. I thought this one was really cool. Um, and it is signed. I found this clear glass platter, which has this swirl design to it, which 
I'm not sure if this was handmade or not, but wow, it's really interesting looking. So this will be fun to photograph. Can hardly even get it on video. Then I've got so many boxes to go through. I don't even know where to start. One second. These next two pieces kind of confuse me. Um, I noticed that they were made, um, they're, they're actually pottery from Hawaii and I liked the flowers. I mean, the first thing I look at is the bottom and it says Aloha Kilns, Hawaii. And so I really liked the florals on it and the brown, but then I noticed just now that it says tutu grandma tutu kane grandpa so what i'm imagining at first i thought that these were personalized but i think that tutu means grandma and tutu kane means grandpa so luckily i think i can still get away with selling these all right then more handmade pottery. I found this oil um, container for your kitchen and it does, it is marked and it was made um, here in Iowa, New Harmony Pottery. So I think that that was really pretty. I found this hand-painted Nippon uh, sugar and it's got a nice floral painting um, and it is marked hand-painted hand Nippon on the bottom. I need to get some more light over here. Here we go. So hand-painted Nippon. Then I found these really cool um, little bowls. Little, I don't know what you would call these, probably a dessert bowl of some sort, but I really liked the painting on them. And it has a floral um, design on for the painting, but also um, inside the pottery of the, of the bowl. And it's a set of four. Okay, so long ago I forget what I bought. Um, so I'm just noticing I bought three of these. Um, they're tiles from Mexico. So I guess they would be some sort of a trivet. And they're all made in Mexico, except for this one, I'm not sure. It's not marked, but I thought it was really pretty. Um, this one, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to figure out a little more about this piece. But these two have some really great wood um, to go with the, tr to, to go with the, um, I'm blanking on the word, the tile. So, these were cool. And I found this handmade little bud vase, um, hand carved. I think it is just really simple and uh, beautiful that someone took the time to carve out a little bud vase, and that is a really neat um, piece of wood. Then, I'm unsure if this is Blanco or not, but check out this picture. It is so gorgeous. 
And usually when I'm thrifting, you'll just run across the picture, but this time it came with four glasses. So this is awesome. I was so happy with this. I have this really neat hand blown um, picture. You, it's so unique. Um, it's got this hint of the same color of blue, bluish green, blue green on the rim and it says that it was made in Mexico so I think I actually have something that will go as a set with this um, but I'll have to keep the, I'm gonna keep that to the side because I know I thrifted some stuff that goes with that oh yeah so th this was really cool now, this is something new for me, but getting into arts and crafts, I found a whole, like, lot of vintage stamps. Of course, there may be some contemporary stamps mixed in, but I was looking through all three lots, excuse me, I hiccuped, all three lots, and... There are just so many unique stamps in here. I couldn't pass them up. And I'm like, you know, this could be a real chance with these lots of stamps. So these are going to be fun to list. All right. I found another trivet and... This one is made in Italy, so this one is Italian, and just really pretty. Um, it's got the marking on the back for Italy. All right, I got through a box. This is old enough. So I haven't shown pieces of artwork just because I don't know enough about them. But I found these pieces, and I just thought they were very unique. Um, mostly because of the cat on the house. And another cat, and I found that, that one piece, but I found it as a set. And um, here... The cats are down below, and another one in this window. So I thought um, that they were really unique, and they were a gift to somebody's grandmother. But again, just so colorful. And as a set, I think that they'll go so well, so well on someone's wall. Whoa. So continuing on with the artwork, I got two pieces and it looks like her name is Peggy um, Allens. Her first name is Peggy, but she, I found these two prints uh, one of this shoe and one of this shoe. And I thought that they were um, very different. So I picked those two up. And then I found these little kids, these little babies. And I thought they were very vintage. Um... So I picked that baby up, and then this one goes with it as a, as a set, as a pair. And then I found this uh, paper-made flower that is framed, 
and I thought that was really unique and pretty. Um, a good piece of artwork. So now is this, I guess, elk head, which um, does, it is a wall hanging. You, it does go on the wall. You can see it there. But it's just beautiful. And nobody has to kill anything. You can have a ceramic elk head on your wall and feel good about it. Then I found this very vintage bunny planter. Great for succulents, but I just thought it was really pretty um, and really unique. Like the bunny is on wheels for some reason, and you can tell that it's vintage because of the base of the, of the wheels. Um, but the bunny is just really pretty with the florals on it. found another piece. Actually, this one is curious. It says Old Ivory Celestia, um, but it's another hand-painted dish, and it's got some great gold uh, detailing um, to go with the tan of the, of the dish and of the flowers. Um, but you can see the marking there, and I'm not quite sure what that means. I'm going to have to do a little research. All right, so then I found me and my glass. Um, this very cool, um, I guess you, you could call it a compote dish. Um, I like the green color of it and I like the uh, base. I think that's really, really pretty. So I'm going to have to get a really good shot of this because it's got some good, um, when the light goes through it, it's got some good shadowing. All right, let's see. This clear uh, vase I thought was very unique. It's got some weird uh, wavy lines going around these thumbprint-like um, bubbles. And it's got a, this really cool wavy uh, rim. So I thought that was really unique. Get you a better look. And it is numbered. Um, I just don't know the maker. I found another coin dot dish in a great um, vintage green. I thought that was really neat. Pick that right up. It's just really old. You can see the age. So finding something more contemporary, I found these liquor glasses in a pair at the thrift store, and I thought they were really neat. Um, they have this really cool stem um, to them. It, it's like a crisscross in the, and you can see that they're hand blown. Um, so this is just a really unique pair of glasses. So I found this Georgian Homer Laughlin. So this is Georgian Homer Laughlin. It is a sugar and I love the florals on it. Sorry, I gotta make sure I'm 
holding it up into the camera, but I love Homer Laughlin. I don't know how much value there is to all these pieces that I get, but I think there's um, definitely worth in it. It's a good name. Um, it's a good brand. It's uh, very vintage. Um, if I could, I would, I would buy a whole set, but I haven't come across a whole set just to use for myself. Another, this looks like kind of like that thumbprint bubble um, on a pitcher, and this one's green. Um, my guess would th be that this would be maybe anchor hawking. I'd have to look that up, but I think it's a really cool, cool design for a pitcher. I just picture it full of like iced tea. It's really neat. All right. Speaking of neat, this canister with the bunny lid is amazing. When I saw this, I'm like, this is unique. This is so unique. Um, never quite seen anything. I don't know. I, I would guess that this is a pewter bunny. Um, and it was made in India. So I guess I can see that here, that it would be made in India, but the glass is really pretty. unboxing but this is very curious okay so it could be one of numerous things so I found this candlestick holder now to me it looks like you could set it on top of a bottle of wine and then it becomes a candle holder like that. And in fact, that's what I might try to do with it and see if it actually works. Um, now, I'm probably completely wrong, but I'm just wondering what these circles are for. So candle, circles, and it looks like a stopper. I mean, that very well could be that it, it's missing the bottle that it would, came with. Um, but I just thought it was really cool. And different. What's this piece? I just found some... Oh, this is a Lefton sugar that I found. You can see the Lefton. Um, very pretty. So I picked that up. <clears throat> so when I was a little kid, I remember these. These are McDonald's Flintstone cups. And it makes total sense when you look at how they are made. The um, handle, the kind of like ice looking, but you can see Flintstones, McDonald's. I'm not sure what the worth is of these, but they're very, I would guess, collectible. It says Flintstones right on the bottom. So that was a cool find. So I'm going to end with some stemware. And I found this set that have these really cool applied lines, blue lines on them. So I've got those martini glasses and these little liquor glasses. And 
then I have this, which looks like a wine glass. And I just noticed that <clears throat> the match has a little bit of a chip, a uh, flea bite on it, but I think I'm going to go ahead and include it in the set. But these are really cool. All right. And lastly, lastly, I found a set of eight of these really cool goblet, uh, glass goblets. And they are labeled, um, and it says Handmade Artland Collection. Artland. I'm going to have to look that up. But I found a set of eight of these, which was really lucky to find so many. Um, they're made in China, but I think that they're very unique, uh, very um, beautiful. They have the color blue, and the stem is really cool. I mean, just looking through the glass, it's very unique. So I was very lucky to find eight of those. All right, so I hope you can join me for my next episode where I have a lot more that I've, uh, I've collected and will be listing at some point soon. Um, you can find all of my sales uh, websites uh, linked below. All right, I was almost done, but I realized that I had seen these before. And as you can see, I had already purchased and shown you some. It was the stem that gave it away to me. I'm like, wait a second, I have seen those before. And I went to start putting stuff away, and I'm like, oh, look, I've already got four, and now I have a set of six. Oh, it's even better. All right, we'll see you next episode.